Breaking news as we continue our complete coverage of a bank robbery investigation in downtown El Paso. The investigation is taking place at the Wells Fargo Bank building at the intersection of Texas and, and Kansas streets. The area has been cordoned off by authorities and that is where we find ABC 7's Emmanuel Esparza who's been at the scene since 2 o'clock this afternoon. Emmanuel, what have you learned about the investigation? Stephanie, I'm standing right now outside of that Wells Fargo in downtown and right at the entrance you can still see El Paso police present at the scene in a robbery scene that has to be slowly clearing up. This video is from earlier when the scene was more active and law enforcement was scanning the perimeter. Residents of the area told us even access to some establishments like Classico Bistro and Cafe and the Electricity Building were blocked. ABC is working to find out how many robbers were involved, if they were armed, and if they were able to take any money with them. According to witnesses, police were surrounding a building in which the robbers had barricaded. I spoke to a man that saw the scene develop and who happens to work inside a different bank in downtown and tells me how this situation makes him feel. It is kind of scary, but it's something that I feel like you got to kind of prepare for. You may not always be right. You can't always prepare for things like this, but just making sure you stay calm in the moment. I think that's the best solution, you know, so you don't make any mistakes. And as you said, that robbery happened at 2 p.m. and traffic was blocked off on several streets here near that Wells Fargo in downtown. But as you can see behind me, that flowing traffic has been restored in all of them. And we're going to be getting you some updates later today as we find out more information about this robbery. For now, reporting live from downtown El Paso, Emanuel Esparza, ABC7. All right, Emanuel. And remember, it is easy to get breaking news alerts sent directly to your phone. Just download the KVI8 News app. You can get it today from the App Store or Google Play.